Hello and uh, welcome to yet another video of Tracking the Changes, a series of videos which tracks to see what's happening across the digital divide, what is new in digital marketing, what is happening, what you should be aware of, how you should go about implementing some of those things into your own business and arguably into your own life. And thanks to your emails today, we are talking about having a social conscience. Now, I know that you know that for the last 20 odd years of the 21st century, we have been talking about social conscience as part of the digital identity that any kind of brand, and any kind of digital business needs to develop. And the question here is why? Now, let's reverse engineer it a little bit. Let's see what happens if you don't have a social conscience. If you do not have a social conscience as a business, it means that you are divorced from the local community in which you do business, however broad that may be in the digital domain. It means you are divorced from what is key to them, what is necessary for them and what their real needs are, which means that your messaging and your marketing have a disconnect between what is important to you and what is important to them. And it also means you're divorced in the development, you're divorced from the development which you put into effect into your own business and what is important uh, in terms of your audience which you're trying to reach. So having a social conscience, in a sense, means that you integrate your business as fully as possible, as seamlessly as possible, into the community with which you're actually doing business with. I mean, this is common sense, but it has additional benefits which confer uh, competitive advantage. What are those benefits? Well, essentially, any kind of business, any kind of trading opportunity, any kind of selling and buying, creates a certain amount of friction, which comes from the gap of the expectations of the seller and the buyer. The closer those two are integrated, the less the amount of friction that is encountered and the smoother the entire process um, is actually performed. So essentially, if you do have a social conscience, if you actively develop that social conscience and put it at the front of your marketing, at the front of your business, as a means of reaching out and connecting with your audience, then you will experience a lot less friction in the way that you, you do business. They will experience a lot less friction in the way they do business with you. There will be a greater sense of trust. It'll be a win-win all around. <laughs> I really hope this helps. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Keep sending me those emails. Stay safe out there.